Hi, this is Sarah. I've got a little tip for when you connect your Chromebook to your Clever Touch. So when you connect your Chromebook to your Clever Touch using the USB-C cord, that is the flat one, and this is a very expensive cord. Don't lose this cord. It's like 30 bucks. When you connect it, what happens is your Clever Touch then becomes your Chromebook. You can click on the Clever Touch to open up files, to open up a new tab. It's very, very cool. But what we found is when we did that, many of us were just seeing this screen and we couldn't see our computer. We were very frustrated, but we figured it out. So we played around with it and we figured it out. There's a setting called display that you need to get to. You only see this setting when you are actually connected. So you have to connect your Chromebook to the Clever Touch using the USB-C, then go to your settings. Your settings are right here where the clock is. So we're gonna click on this. Now, if you lose access to the trackpad, like if you start trying to move your mouse or your trackpad and it's not working, remember that your screen is a touch screen. So you can just use your finger to touch and get to the settings. So you're gonna click here and then you're gonna go up to the settings. So I'm just gonna type in dis here and then display comes up. Now what you wanna click on is mirror built-in display. That's what we want. Don't click on anything else. Just mirror built-in display and there's no save. You don't have to save it, then just exit out. Now when you go to your, um, to your Chrome, you will see your, your computer, whatever's on your computer, on your Clever Touch. But then when you go to your Clever Touch, you can actually open up new tabs. So I'm clicking on my Clever Touch right now and I can um, open up things. So I'm not even touching my computer right now. So very cool, but we just gotta make sure we have that setting. Have a great day.